Sup YouTube, David here. Um, today I'm going to bring you a first impressions of the Tada Galaxy Nexus, which was released today for Verizon. Um, so as you can see, proof here, Verizon 4 4G LTE. So I had this phone since about 1 a.m. this morning, and it's currently midnight. So yeah, I had had practically the whole day to play with this. So originally I was I was gonna do an unboxing, but the people at Verizon unboxed it for me because they had to activate it, put, throw the SIM in this, and the battery, yada yada yada. So yeah, so I thought like yeah, let's just give you guys the first impressions. Anyway, let's first talk about the device. As you see, it's a pretty big device. It's big, but surprisingly pretty thin. Yeah, a little big. Yes, um, there are times where I do have to reach a little bit farther to say I want to hit something at the top corner here, but. All in all, it's a good device. Um, but and my add, I do have small hands, so if so, with, with small hands and feeling pretty comfortable with this device, I'm pretty sure any, everyone would be pretty comfortable with it. Um. Anyway, let's see. Up. Uh, anyway, let's just run through the device a little. A 1.3 front facing, a uh, 1.3 megapixel front facing camera. Sorry. Uh, an earpiece, proximity sensor, uh, a nice big. 4.65 inch Super AMOLED HD screen. No, uh, missing are the traditional Android buttons because Ice Cream Sandwich, aka Android 4.0, doesn't doesn't need them. Um, three dock connectors, a power slash lock button. Uh, this side, a volume rocker. On the bottom here is a 3.5 millimeter headset jack microphone port and a micro USB charging port. On the top, a big whopping nothing. On the back, you have a, yeah, sorry, you have your battery door, um, a, another microphone port. I'm not sure you can see that the camera focuses. And you see, it's actually pretty clever how they hit it in the battery door. A uh, five megapixel camera with LED flash, Verizon logo, Samsung logo. Surprisingly, it's missing a Google logo, being a Nexus device and, you know, the pure Google experience. And last but not least, the speaker grill. Um, one thing I want to say about the speaker is not that loud, at least compared to my old phone, which was the Jordan Incredible, which is over here. A, a little size comparison, obviously. Let's see. Yeah, 3.7 inch screen, 4.65. So this is basically almost an inch thicker. Um, it's, the screen's almost almost an inch bigger than what I have here. So as you see, it's pretty big difference. Uh, it basically kind of eats it. Um, thickness wise, from the thickest points, as you can see, oh, sorry, they're about the same. Um, actually, no, the Droid Incredible is actually thicker. From the thinnest side, obviously, the Droid Incredible is thicker. Um, could throw in an iPhone 4. Let's see, thickness wise, the thinnest point, they're actually about the same. Sorry. Uh, about the same thickness, about, you know, from the chin of the Galaxy Nexus, obviously it's thicker than the iPhone 4S, I mean, 4, sorry, not 4S, but, um, again, let's see, 3.5 inch screen, 4.65, as you can see, really big difference, I can see, uh, is this turned on, no, it's off, oh, sorry, this isn't mine, it's my sister's, <laughs> um, anyway, so let's talk about battery life. I've only had this phone for less than a day, so I can't really say a lot about the battery life, but what I've experienced so far in the, in the last, what, 12 hours or so, um, the battery life, pretty decent. Uh, it's better than Detroit Incredible here, thank god. Uh, let's see, I started the day, uh, I started at 100% around 1pm. After about 8.5 hours, I got to 30%, which... Let's see, which consisted of about 30 minutes of web browsing, 30 minutes of GPS, about 100 text messages, yes I do text a lot, and a couple of phone calls that only lasted probably a minute or more, and and for the record, I tend to turn off my mo when I travel, like in my car or whatever, um, I tend to turn off my mobile data, so that way it doesn't kill battery, and today I have been traveling a lot, so that might have affected battery life. Um, I'll let you guys know in the full review in the coming week, I hope. Anyway, 
Now let's talk about Ice Cream Sandwich. So this phone here is running Android 4.0.2, as you'll see soon enough. If we go find, where is the about? Ah, there it is, the about. As you can see here, Android 4.0.2. It got updated like the moment I turn on the phone. So yay. Uh, of course, it still does that Easter egg thing. If it Keep tapping this a bit and come on. Okay, excuse me for a second. There we go, now we have the Easter egg. Except for some reason I can't make him grow any larger, so I'm not sure what's up with that. I'm gonna have to do a little research. Anyway. Um was one of the little gripes I have about ice cream sandwich is um it's a new security option. Um which affects the lock screen, obviously. Um, at the moment, um, for the lock screen, you either have an, you have none, so the moment you unlock it, it'll go straight to your homepage. The sliding, which is what I like, face unlock, pattern, pin, password, yeah, yeah. Um, but thing is, um, I'm not sure if it, um, maybe it was, maybe it was different for, for Android phones, but for my incredible over here, I could um, when I had I could also have this um, I had the option to have slide and pattern at the same time, so basically I would have this I have the the normal slide whatever it, whatever it was on gingerbread I would slide to unlock but then the pattern will show up so I had had to do the pattern as well. Here if I choose pattern it goes straight to pattern I lose so I lose the slide automatically, uh, which I'll show right now. So say I do pattern. Make a random pattern right now. Continue. Make another pattern. Confirm. Now, if I lock it, unlock. It goes straight to the pattern. I lose the slide. Things I like the slider because it give because it gives you quick access to the camera. So I so if I want to keep the slider, I have to lose a little bit of security, which kind of uh, I really wish they kept it the way it was, but uh, I guess for convenience purpose, I guess. Uh, excuse me for saying. Let me just change. It. Oh. It was not supposed to do it. Slide. There we go. Anyway, um, another thing. 4G. Oh, I'm right now running Wi-Fi, but let me turn that off. Actually, let me show you a quick 4G test, just because uh, because this phone actually runs really, really quickly. If I could find where I put my stuff. Uh, there we go. Speed test. Now let me show you a quick speed test. I'm running three about yeah three bars of 4G. Sorry. If you can, hopefully you focus on that. So, but yeah, I'm running three, three bars of 4G. So let's begin the test. And I you see it runs pretty quickly, running about about 10 megabyte, no, nine megabytes per second for the download. Yeah, about nine megabytes for download. That's and for upload, hitting 7, 7.3, 7 7.4. Yep, there you go. And do a bit of a close up, as you can see. There's a speed test. Actually, I've had faster ones um, earlier in the day when I had full bars of, of 4G. I've actually had, let me show you the results. Oh, um, these last two right here, I had, four, had 29 point, uh, almost 30 megabytes down and 10 megabytes up. And here I had 26 down and 9.6 up. Um, the five here was because I was running on 3G because I because I had had spotty 4G coverage at my college campus. But when I did have full bars, the results were pretty amazing. Here it's not bad actually. It's still faster than my home internet, sadly. <laughs> um, and let me run a quick quadrant score just because I just you know just show I can. Um, about the quadrant score, um, quadrant isn't optimized for ice cream sandwich to my knowledge right now, so this score is, uh, I guess is not fully representative of what this device can do, cause so far, but again, just to show the numbers and compare. Um, I'll just probably cut this out and show you. Alright, and we're ready. Sending quadrant, so from look at things, it is at... 1340 right now. I had a 1500 earlier. Um, again, um, I'm pretty sure Quadrant is optimized for ice cream sandwich at the moment, so this number's pretty much 
gonna, it's probably gonna be cha uh, could probably change like any time depending on whenever Quadrant gets optimized for ice cream sandwich. So my final thoughts on this first impression, honestly, it's a really great phone. 4G's lightning uh, LT, uh, Verizon's LTE is lightning fast. It runs really well. Um, I heard people t complain about a slight lag, but so far I haven't experienced it yet. Maybe I will eventually. Battery life seems pretty fine. The camera seems pretty good. I tried out Panorama. It actually, it's pretty fun. Um, so far, my only gripe is just that that speaker grill. Um, the speaker is really low, so you might want to use headphones. The battery cover feels a little cheap, but it's not bad. It's a good texture. Um, and that's pretty much it, actually. So I don't know. So hopefully you enjoyed this first impressions and look forward to seeing a full review of this film. Alright, and this is David. Talk to you guys later. Peace.